Hello and good morning. My name is John Bali and welcome to episode 5 of um, the South Brazilian Let's Play here on the South Brazilian map by Eric Isaac AgroMods. Um, yeah, you've seen it in the flashback. I already started um, plowing my field, um, the, the rice fields. Um, but there's also something happening and especially with regards to my harvesters as you can see um, the case is gone um, and I decided to go for a John Deere as well this is the John Deere um, 6200 by Cola um, with the um, 1216 header and also the um, 42 09 header corn header um, this is the wider header um, the 12 uh, 16 I think there's also a, a smaller one but this is our new harvester incredibly cheap and yeah I'm looking forward to use it um, because we also have this John Deere cotton harvester over here um, so I just thought it would fit much better if I have a John Deere harvester um, regular harvester as well so for today what's it gonna be um this is actually the first episode of our um yeah new um concept for the let's play and i'm just i'm just seeing that the front fenders of that tractor are gone um that's uh, the, this has a reason because um the Bura um, Series 6 tractor um, had an update the other day um, and part of that was the fender option as well and apparently because I did not especially um, um, attach it or um, in, in the um, uh, yeah in the buying men menu they are gone now but I don't really care um, yeah today what we're going to do new concept for um, my let's play, I will continue my um, let's play um, with um, well, we will continue where we left off basically, but um, we will call it a map experience and mod in action let's play. Um, what does this mean? So, um, my um, um, playlists um, with regards to equipment um, um, sales supplies yeah. um, are done. I've um, demonstrated everything um, what I wanted to demonstrate so far, um, made all the videos, released all the videos and yeah, I call it today and I call that done. Um, so um, I thought well let's continue with that um, in regards to um, my let's play so I will um, do in my let's plays um, in, I will include in my let's plays um, some sales advice um, um, for special equipment um, and right as we are seeing it today we are doing this for the cotton equipment um, yeah, I think I can. Oh, <laughs> breaks. I think I can um, place this right there between the fields. Um, we will do this um, for the cotton equipment. We will compare this um, cotton um, mod DLC, um, soft DLC, if you would like to call it like that, because it's basically more or less already a fully DLC. Um, this is the um, John Deere cotton pack by Connect Modding. Um, which is this um, baler um, baling wagon. Um, it is the actual John Deere cotton harvester, which we are going to grab in a second. And it is the um, yeah the cotton trailer auger. I think auger wagon is the best word to describe. It's cotton auger wagon um, for the. Um, yeah, cotton harvester. 
you will see it in a minute it's different to the um, case harvester we know from the game where you have um, the bales compressed uh, are being compressed inside of the um, harvester itself here uh, the harvester collects uh, the cotton loose and it will be transferred to the auger wagon and from that auger wagon the cotton will be transferred to that um, yeah, baling press which we just um, um, placed next to our fields and yeah they, the, this press will compress the loose cotton to a bale and heat white vehicle and this um, bale um, can then be unloaded and um, yeah then with the um, truck trailer yeah the semi trailer can then be transported to your cell point so we will get right into our cotton harvest machine And once that's done, I will hire a worker and he will um, then continue for the moment at least as long as I need um, yeah, to grab the, um, the remaining equipment which I um, have back at my farmyard. Um, when that's done, when we have um, all the bales, um, all the cotton harvested from these two fields here, um, what we are going to do is um, we will then we will then um, replant this field with cotton again, um, let it grow uh, and once it's grown I will rent the standard in-game equipment and we will then compare of course the pricing which is um, I can already give that away the pricing of that um, cotton pack by Connect Modding is much cheaper than the standard um, um, equipment but you probably have already guessed that and um, uh, right and then we will comp we will compare the prices of the equipment itself um, the output maybe maybe this um, um, equipment does not give you the same output um, of your um, um, cotton equipment um, like the uh, yeah the standard in-game equipment does and um, when that's done we will also um, see um, what's the sale price for the cotton I mean if you have different outputs of course you will um, get probably get um, different payoffs and um, as far as I know um, the bale which is produced with this equipment over here from Connect Modding is um, I think these are only 10,000 liters and the standard in-game which came out of the case harvester I believe are 20,000 liters per bale I'm not so sure we will see this um, yeah, during this episode um, so that's basically what is going to happen today um, yeah and I think I will leave this here um, so at the moment um, because um, we will not um, collect the bales um, yet we'll just press them and roll them up on uh, next to the field on that um, dirt track over there I think it's not necessary to get the um, truck and the center trailer yet so I will do this um, Hold on, is it now me again? Yes it is. Switch it on, lower it down. Takes a second before the front end gets lower, but then oh um, yeah, I'm ready to go. Um yeah, so um speaking about um the new concept of um my let's plays. I call it map experience and mod in action let's play. Um this means we will um take a closer look at this map um, in particular um, so for example for, um, we will take a look at the custom crop types which are available um, 
which is um, sorghum, sorghum, black beans and rice on this map. We will do, um, just like we're do, doing it now with the harvesting equipment, we will make a um, comparison um, of these different crop types. So um, the output um, in, in, in yield, harvest yield, and um, of course the output um, well, in dollars. Um, when you plant them, use them um, for the sorghum, for example, we will have an episode um, where we will look at the amount of silage um, sorghum makes. So we will compare sorghum um, uh, as silage with, um, yeah, I think corn silage, um, because in normally corn we just make um, um, for silage or as silage. Um, if you're doing crop type um, um, silaging, I mean, if you're doing silage only with grass, of course, you're not <laughs> using uh, corn for it, you're using grass silage. But in a larger extent, um, when you're doing corn silage and you compare it to corn silage, um, yeah, with sorghum silage, because sorghum has the um, opportunity, um, uh, no, the possibility, not opportunity, possibility to be silage with it. So we will test that out. How much silage um, we will get from sorghum, how much silage we will get from corn, um, from the same size fields, obviously. And then we will see what, what will be um, the bigger profitable um, crop type for silage here in Brazil. Um, we will also do a video, another um, comparison of black beans to um, another product of the same um, price ratio, um, if you want to call it like that. So um, we will just take a look at the menu, um, the sales price. So if we take a look at the black beans. Um, um, we have 1,800 at Cooperative Crasil, 1,3 at Cooperative Urbanos, 1,5 Dogao de Lourdes, and 1,5 at Valley Grains. So about, I think in average it's about 1,500, 1,600 per thousand liters. So we will take a look at other crops, which um, will give us the same price. And now that I take a look at it, there is actually nothing really mm, that brings us the this a similar price. So it's a very high price product, apart from um, rice actually. So maybe we will compare 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 um, the black beans um, with the rice. I'm not so sure. Maybe that's also an idea. Because on another on, a, on another let's play I did in German um, on a German map um, I compared the custom crop there which is rye um, to um, wheat wheat actually um, I still haven't done the uh, 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 or completed it yet so the um, rye harvest still um, um, still is still to be done. But when it's done, um, I will know what it's better um, with regards to the yield and output of um, rye compared to wheat on that map, which is Dahlberg, um, if you're interested in it. Because Dahlberg has um, rye as a one of two custom crops, the other one is hops. Um, so one thing we're seeing here at the moment with the harvester is the fact that it takes a second um, before the harvesting device lowers. So I mean, I will push the button right now. And now it's lowered. See, it's taking a couple of seconds, one or two seconds um, before that tool actually lowers. Picking it up works immediately, but um, for lowering it, it, it the um, harvester just needs um, that moment of consideration, if you want to call it like that. Um, 
but on the other hand um, very good advantage of the harvester I found, uh, I, I'm seeing is the fact that um, but apparently it has narrow tires so tires, um, the tires are protecting the crop it does not damage it and this is something I really um, think is a good feature so, uh, for this so 4000 liters are in the harvester so we will get our first 4000 liters into our auger wagon here these this complete um, equipment comes with that John Deere cotton um, pack by CS Modding. CS Modding was it correct? Yeah. Uh, Connect Modding, not, not CS Modding. I apologize. I apologize. Connect Modding. Um, so it's the whole assembly of equipment um, need. And I think it's a very good, good feature. I mean, you have 4,000 liters of capacity in the harvester. This auger wagon also has 4,000 liters of capacity. And um, yeah, the baler, which is standing right next to it, this has a little bit higher capacity, obviously, um, because we need to make the big bales um, of cotton. But at the end of the day, I think this is a very nice um, set of equipment which you get. And you also get the transport trailer, which is a semi trailer, um, so you can either use a dolly or a semi truck to transport it. Um, so, how do I look this? I just need to switch on the help menu for a second. Ah, pipe out. So simple. <laughs> and it starts overloading. So, this will then be able to do this one again. This can be lowered back down. This will lower, lower back down as well. And we will continue with our cotton harvest. Um, yeah, so um, after we prepared the, this cotton equipment to the standard in-game one and the yield it gave us and how much um, net of it, we will um, then do, yeah, we will plant sorghum on this field here, or these fields, or maybe only on this field here. And the other one will already be planted with black beans. Um, or we will we'll do the rice field um, first. Um, I'm not so sure, but this is everything we will. Uh, these are some things we will do in the next episode. We will then um, compare, for example, for the um, silage harvest. Um, some silage harvesters. Um, which are in the mod hub, uh, not the um, big ones, so the um, Corona um, Big X or Forage Harvester or something like that, uh, more like the um, little attachments um, which you can attach to your oh, I that makes sense, uh, which you can attach to your tractor um, for silage harvest and we compare several mods um, um, with the, each other in another video. There's something that you are what you can do looking forward to um, within the next um, episode of this Let's Play. Yeah, so um, I think um, for the moment this should be um, enough. Um, or maybe um, I'm just finishing that line here. Um, and then I will... No, what we were going to do, um, I just make a quick jump through the vehicles, what I normally don't like to do, but this time I'm doing So, I'm here back at my rice field, my rented rice field. Um, as you saw uh, in the beginning of this video, um, I started to um, plow this with that flower at the back of my um, Valtra um, and what I found is if I hire a worker right now we can go back to the cotton harvester continue and you will see it in a second um, our workers some in some way 
um, had some issue with the um, yeah the these rice fields. Um, so it's not so easy to let a worker um, do your harvest there, which is a pity because these are rather big. And I actually thought while I was harvesting the cotton field here, I can have my um, worker do the harv uh, do the plowing. And afterwards, I wanted to switch um, the devices which are on that tractor, so you can then do the um, cultivating because I have the cultivator also attached um, to that tractor at the front. That's the reason why I'm using the cultivator as a front weight and not the um, yeah, the actual front weight. Um, yes, yeah, so, but um, you will see it in a second that they have some little issues with um, these fields. I mean, if it reaches the end of the field, you will probably see it in a second. No, I had an issue. Sometimes there was a message coming up um, um, Hopper is blocked by an object or something like that and the way he um, um, cult uh, not cult like plowed field um, did not 100% satisfy me if you wanted to put it like that yeah okay, just a little bit we'll pick it up later um, so when I'm done with this line, I will hire a worker here as well. And then I will jump um, to the baler, if you want to call it like that. Like that. And I just need to check in my menu if it's actually called baler. I think I'm telling you something wrong here. So go over there um, so this one is garage so um, the harvester is the power tech tier um, 2 um, yeah that's the harvester um, the bass is the auger wagon oh the baler EB11 oh I was right it's it's called the baler um, so yeah this is uh, the baler and we will now um, we need to right so your tractor needs to be um, running um, to operate the baler first you need to unfold to yes unfold it and now the baler oh, is compressing um, yeah the cotton you put into it and I think this is a really nice feature but for this you need to have um, your tractor um, operating all the time. I mean, that's the PTO here, um, which transfers the energy to um, the, this um, thing over here. It also has a nice seat here and some um, 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 called, um, sticks um, where you actually, in theory, would be able to operate it, it in real life. But it's a rather nice, cool looking kit and it will continue compressing the bale. Um, as long as the engine of your tractor is running. Um, I tried this out on another farm, um, on another map um, where I have a much, much bigger field. And this um, bigger field resulted in the fact that when I, <laughs> when I was moving away from my tractor um, too far, um, I hope the field has a full grain tank. Oh, yes. Uh, when I moved uh, away from it too far, um, the engine of that tractor, which was attached to it, um, well, stopped work, stopped operating, st uh, and um, yeah, I had to switch it on again to let it compress the bale. But it's something um, which is only uh, needed um, yeah, if you go, f if you like to go for that realistic feel of it, because at the end of the day. Um, after you um, discharge the cotton into the baler and when it's full it's actually already compressed um, um, so you don't necessarily need it to operate but I think uh, but I personally like the way this um, pneumatic piston um, goes up and down and just 
compresses um yeah the cotton um yeah i'm a little surprised positively surprised that my helper on my rice field apparently does not have a big issue with what he's doing that's great he's plowing it looks good i mean he just oversaw a little bit of it at the top but i can do this later on so this was a good sign um yeah so overloading the second um, batch so yeah i was talking about um i'm i tried this out already on on another map and one minor disadvantage i found um was the fact that uh, this baler here you cannot um unload it um uh, you cannot a, a unload a partially finished bale so um for example with the um case cotton harvester uh you can unload unfinished bales um if your field is well fully harvested um this is something that will not work with this one unfortunately is there another cotton field no it just looked like that um but now i think yeah you see now the helper just started working over here or something like that um we will see later on what he has actually done there um yeah so now we are at eight thousand liters of cotton so um another two thousand liters and that um trailer will be full and um no no chainsaw and if you we are going if we are going to complete the harvest we will see how many bales are being dropped out but um for example if the um uh, balance of your um if you're making a for example five complete bales and the last bale um only has like 50 or 20 or whatever percent um, of cotton in it you cannot unload the half finished bale so you will always you will always have the balance of cotton in that baler and this is something you have to uh, keep in mind when you're only leasing this equipment because worst case would be you will give this back and have maybe an 80 or 89 percent or even 95 percent um bale in it and you will lose all that um cotton um and all the profit of that cotton um which will otherwise be in your uh yeah in your account actually or in your in your uh, in your wallet um and this would be a shame actually but that's not something i wanted to i don't want to um speak badly of that mod um because i do definitely don't want to do that because i think this is an amazing one and what you also can do is you can overload from your harvester into that baler as well if you wish to do so and i like the details so that um black um rubber flap there which avoids that the cotton falls out um at the wrong side of that um auger belt uh, there this is so nicely detailed and is so cleverly made and i like i really really like that mod and i personally with the amount of equipment uh, this engine is shut up i really i actually like it a little bit more than the um actual in-game equipment and also a little bit more than the um official <laughs> uh cotton dlc um by giant software because when you think about um the cotton harvester the official cotton harvester um john deere cotton harvester it's like eight hundred thousand to buy or something like that and uh i don't know fifty thousand to lease or something like that you need to harvest a lot of cotton uh, to get around these round cotton bales and they are round actually and everybody who does um, hay bales um, or straw or silage bales or any other 
uh, grass related bale type um, which are round um, knows how these can be yeah let's put it, let's not um, speak politically correctly these are a pain in the ass sometimes especially when you are on elevated ground um, like I'm here for example um, so they would use normal or bales or round bales on that field these will roll away and yeah it can be annoying and that's why it's so cool to have another option for square cotton bales and you get this uh, uh, fantastic equipment with it and yeah it's fun to operate absolutely and i like it and it's free the i don't know the cotton dlc by giants costs like I think it was eight euros or something like that. Can't remember by heart, but yeah. And this is free, and you basically, I think it was in a much review I saw um, with regards to this equipment. Um, <laughs> the one who made the mod review also said this is basically the cotton GLC, uh, but you get it for free in the mod hub. <laughs> this is amazing, and it's true, and I love that stuff. Um, so. Um, I think I just... How much did I put into the baler before? It was, how much was it? 1,000 and something liters or like that. So I think when we finished that round here, we had enough cotton in our baler to um, yeah, make our first bale. And then I will quickly show you how this is done. And when that's done, then I will just well, continue with my cotton harvest here. And yeah, when that's done, um, I will bring you guys back in later on after this um, harvest is done. And I will let you know how many bales we actually made out of this um, harvest here. So let's just get up back up to our... Baylor, 2200 liters in my tank at the moment. This should be enough. I mean, we had 8000 in the Baylor already, so yeah, I'm I'm absolutely convinced this will be enough to um, fulfill to fill the Baylor up. There you go, it stopped overloading, so the baler is full. I should get this one back on the field and hire a worker so that we can continue the work. And now we will jump to here. The baler is beeping, it's um, full. So we will now, oh, I just need to take a look at the help window again. Um, no, detach, select tool so I can run now. Um, yeah, turn off bailer. Unload here, so the rear um, gate opens and you can, in the best case, just simply drive out of it. It's already happened to me before. And the thing is, now, I mean, the bale stands on the ground. This will not be an issue. But if I cannot get out of this properly, oh, no, the other way around, um, the only thing I can do is resetting that trailer um, to the um, store. And the advantage is the bale will not get lost, thank God. But um, yeah, I need to go down to the store then and get um, the baler back. You can see the angle is uh, maybe it's due to the angle of the um, of the ground. It's not really flat here. Uh, so. I'm 
direction. So, and the bale, well, it has some weight. <laughs> it's not easy to push it around. Ah, damn it. Um, I will, well, let's, in the meantime, let's have a look at our plower. What has he done so far? Nothing more. So we will jump over to this guy and there is it. I probably have missed um, the message, but well, that's how he ended up. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. <sighs> the Because of the edges, um, these um, little hills at the edge of the field, which you need to contain the water for the rice field, um, actually, um, well, it causes some problems with the helper. They are, <laughs> um, yeah, blocking themselves. Uh, they get, get, get stuck. Um, and they don't know how to free themselves. So, I also probably have to plow and cultivate this whole field by myself. Um, so, yeah, that's the first thing. The other thing is this one here. Start the engine here. Um, so yes, I will try to get this loose, get this bale out of it, and I will bring you guys back in when I'm done, when I have done it. So see you later. Hello, welcome back. A short update. Um, there is the bale which we did before. Um, now it's already high noon, 12 o'clock. Um, I had to reset the baler. Actually, couldn't get that bale out of it. Um, nevertheless, um, so I reset it. Whoops, whoops. Um, took it back from the um, uh, the shop and um, brought it back over here. Um, simply because now here at my farm it's flat ground and I really thought to myself um, why am I actually transporting it up to uh, over to the field because I can just use that ba bass, base bass um, auger wagon to well transport the cotton here and um, compress my bales over here so um, speaking about compressing bales um, I haven't switched on the baler at all and now this half full um, auger wagon hmm. I thought it was already full uh, no okay 29% um, so I probably need a little bit more. Ah, I think the baits are 11,000 liters, not 10,000 liters, aren't they? I think I just made a mistake. Bear with me one second. So, welcome back. Um, Now, just to be sure. 10,102. So, basically, less than 900 liters to complete it. So, we should basically... 2,123 liters should be should remain in that auger wagon if my assumption is correct. There is it. 1,323 correct. So now the baler is full. 11,000 liters of cotton. There it says it. Um, so help window, uh, and I, and as you can see, I never um, activated that baler actually, but it already says uh, unload baler. So I unload it now. The flap opens. Fire up my tractor. Flap the flap the, the door. The rear door opens, and. Oh no, don't do this to me again. So, welcome back. I think I just kicked it loose. 
there you go this is how you're supposed to unload the bale then you close the back and well the idea is that you then start um, with the second bale um, or the production of your second bale or the third bale in my case um, so yeah and now I will start overloading here um, yeah so now we have one bale here the other one on our field and my harvester is basically done yeah only that small bit left over here so um, I will see you in a minute when um, my harvest is done and I have um, yeah all of my cotton collected see you in a bit so welcome back um, my cotton fields are harvested um, as you can see my John Deere harvester is dirty but back at its shed um, so I'm just overloading the rest of my cotton so this is empty now and now here's the thing of what I was talking about before I now have 2444 liters in this uh, baler turn on baler oh, I need to start my engine first of course um, turn on baler so it will work it's working it's compressing it everything's fine no big deal Honk. cool horn with the <laughs> ruler I have not tried it off so uh, turn off baler fold baler so this will go back in the position no problem unfold baler no problem but I do not get the option to well unload that half finished cotton bale so basically um worst case scenario this if you I think if you will give this um, back to the shop now um, you will probably well lose it um, yeah so you will lose these 2,000 liters um, of cotton so basically um, we have two complete bales um, with 11,000 liters so 22,000 liters um, of cotton plus 2,444 liters of cotton which we unfortunately cannot use sell or whatever at this um, given moment but nevertheless um, we uh, I will now still show you how this um, cotton collector um, it's called are ah, there the transmodulo um, lizard transmodulo I will now show you how this works where um, we will pick up the bale from our field and then I think um, yeah it's time for a bigger break um, for you guys um, I will then replant these two fields um, replant these with cotton fertilize these get the cotton grown uh, fully grown and then we will run the um, case harvester to collect it so let's put up and does it do something there it is there you go now it's picking up the bale perfectly lower it down and now we've got our cotton bale 11,000 liters cotton bale on our um, yeah trailer so I will store these bales and yeah so we I will store these two bales so 22,000 liters of cotton from this harvest plus a 
to the rest which we cannot use at the moment and when the new cotton is grown I will bring you back in with um, yeah um, the case harvester um, maybe something else we can still look at um, at this moment oh no no I was thinking about um, the working hours but we will um, take a look at this um, when the well when when we have done the uh, harvest with the case harvester so see you in a bit for you for me it's a couple of days in game days work so see you later hello welcome back it is another day not in the game but in real life so um, what you've already saw you are already f over 45 minutes in the video um, and I was the other day filming and filming and now it became late evening and I realized that um, the next day I started to edit my video and thought okay in the F you will uh, afterwards um, film the rest of the episode and then I suddenly realized I already have over one hours 50 minutes of material um, so the cotton harvest will be a two episode episode actually <laughs> um, so yeah we have the cotton harvest with the John Deere um, right here in the game um, you can see it on the map there's already new cotton on the in the ground but um, we will make a break here um, and yeah the episode will be continued um, yeah in the second part of this cotton harvest episode so um, yeah hope you enjoy it enjoyed it so far um, leave a like leave a comment and I'm looking forward to see you in part two of the um, Brazilian map experience let's play cotton harvester comparison comparison video so see you then